Yeah. yeah. You it. Made it, bro, it's yeah. that yeah. real. Like, you well, don't understand how powerful this guy is. Mm. He d- look, mm. I'm, I tell him, I'm like, yo, bruh, you're a superhero. Mm. He like, does. He does. Honestly, he, does. he doesn't of, realize yeah. exactly yeah. what a message how yeah. Yeah. He doesn't. Hero. Yeah. Mama, I, chat to him, sometimes he'll tell me, yeah, be. Mm. You know, I just I didn't maybe do that. I was like, big man thing. Them man told you. I, I don't think man clock. A specialist said you're going to retire. Tired, yeah. You ain't going to play again. Again, yeah. Period. He took that, fam. And what the crazy thing is, he took <clears throat> it by himself. Yeah. It wasn't even like he lent on anybody, but he went yeah, he and he just himself. focused. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Him and the physio, it, they was just constant, constant. So I'm like, D, you don't realise that you're a superhero, like, no, real crazy. bars, but speak. <laughs> yeah, talking it, because a lot of people won't know what, that, that what actually happened. Bad. So so basically, the, this, the story goes as such, like, when I signed for Wickham, mm. like, I had I had minor issues when I was at Wimbledon, like, towards the end of my time there, yeah. like, with my hip. Didn't think it was anything that serious, like, had an injection, continued to play. So when I got to Wickham, I failed my medical at first, and the gaffer called me and said, listen, we don't fail medicals here, we'll find a way to make it work. So I said, cool. <laughs> So the, the Wickham gaffer said that. Gaffer called me and said that because I'd been in conversations with the gaffer for like, four or five years about coming mm. to Wickham. It just never happened. And what, what <coughs> was they at? Um, well, when we first had the conversation, it was probably League Two, and obviously okay. they were League One the time we had this last conversation okay, before cool. signing. Yeah. So I was like, cool. So we had to kind of work around it, and the physio, like, you know, we're lacking football. Like physio says, oh, listen, you know, like. We don't know when, but you might need surgery mm. two years, but it's mm. really serious. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all right, cool, mm. whatever, whatever. Third day of preseason, I break down. Like, third day, obviously, you come to a new club, like, I'm one of the marquee signings. Like, I've come to, like, tear it I'm up. Big dog. Mm. I'm big dog. And I'm, in the back of my mind, I've got, like, I kind of was, I felt like I was treated unfairly by the manager at Wimbledon at the mm. time. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, Oh man, like mm. all of that, and now he's gonna be like, oh, I was right to mm-hmm. offer yeah, that as well, yeah. offer whatever. So you've got all those things going on in your head. So anyway, eventually in like November, say, I get back to, to full fitness, buzzing. I play seven games on the bounce, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Saturday, whatever. Then Sunday I wake up and I'm in agony. Mm. Like I've never felt pain like this before. Like I couldn't get out of bed. Like I was in tears. I was in bro, I was in whole tears. And like, I phoned the physio and I was like, oh like. I'm in a bad way, you know. So then he said, listen, relax, rest up, come in on the Monday. Monday, yeah. Come in Monday, whatever. <clears throat> and he's like, look, we're just gonna give you rest. Cool. Rested it, tried to train, no good. Rested it, tried to train, no good. So he said, right, let's go back to the surgeon again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So me being me now, like, I've had like four or five operations because of football anyway, like it's normal. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to the, to the surgeon. He's gonna say, we're gonna operate. It's gonna be X amount of time. Cool, yeah. I'll be back, no problem. So I go in there, I'm like, ah, oh, you're right, whatever. I was like, all right, so where are we at? And he's like, oh, um, well, I've looked at your most recent MRI mm-hmm. and like, I'm not gonna operate. So I'm like, well, what would you mean? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, yeah. What, what, what does that mean? He's mm-hmm. like, well, your hip's not good. And I was like, yeah, I know, that's why I'm here. Yeah, like, yeah. I wouldn't be here, I'm like, yeah, of course, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No. So he's like, the way it is, like, he's like, hips, aren't like knees, ankles, or whatever, is like, the success rate is 40%. And that 40% is, um, you don't need to come back for a whole hip replacement in five years. And you can only have a hip, you can only have three hip replacements and you have to have them every 10 years. So he's like, worst case scenario, you could be in a wheelchair before you're like 50. Like worst case scenario, obviously. And he's like, do you really want a hip, a full hip replacement in your 30s? So I was like, well then I guess my only option is to is to oh, just quit in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, boom, that is me and the physio in there, and I'm just like, he's what? indirectly saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, my career's done. Like, because so, because I'm not going to risk yeah. doing that. Obviously, I've got yeah. a child. Like, and he's yeah. in there saying like, you know, you've got a child. Yeah. Do you want more children? Do you want to be able to play with them, run around with them in the park? So I'm like, well, it's an easy decision, logically. But it's not. But easy. emotionally, it's yeah. like rah, like. Everything I've done my whole life, like you're just gonna just take away from take me, away, like yeah, here yeah. now in this office. So, bro, I'd be lying to you if I said like, I, if I would have spoken, you know the ones when like tears are on the verge of coming yeah, out, yeah, and you're yeah. like, if I say something now, I'm gonna cry, but I didn't, but I don't want to cry. So, I left the office with my physio, and he's like, what do you wanna do? Like, do you wanna go for a coffee or whatever, whatever? Mm-hmm. I'm like, 
Nah, man, I just. Relax. Wanna go home? No, no, no. That one there, crazy. I gotta stop it there because, yeah. like, being told, like, you gotta retire, fam. Bro, it's fam. It's hard. Like, even now, like, I'm thinking, like, I'm not emotional. Like, it doesn't. Like, that was a, a, a period in time. But when I go back to it, like, it does bring some emotion because yeah. I put myself back where I was and I'm like, fuck, like, it was a lot. But it was just like, when they say it to you on the spot, like, there's no, there's no contingency plan. Like, I hadn't, like, most people are like, we don't think of contingency yeah. plan. We just, mm. for some reason, we just feel as though we can play forever. Ever, as yeah. People say, like, yeah. you know, careers right. only last so long and mm. if you're lucky, you have a, but it's just like, we don't create contingency plans. And it's like, I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, uh, there and then, because it's just there, been sprung on you as well. Bro, well, like, mm. as, as of this moment, I've got six months left and then I'm done. Yeah, like, I'm done, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got shit. So, get to training, obviously, like, have, have the weekend off, get to training. And um, the gaffer's just like, yeah, I heard the news, just, you know, just, just do what you have to do. Like, there's nothing you can really say. Mm -hmm. Like, you get me? Yeah, and, you can't then, do anything and I'm going through all the emotions of, I came here, I'm on decent money for, for the club. Like, I'm meant to do big things, mm. and now I'm just a burden. I'm just someone on the wage bill who's done nothing, and nothing, Wickham yeah. fans won't remember me for anything. And not that I do it for them, but at that moment in time, time. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. like... And you had a point to I, prove because I, of the I, last situation. Not even that, not even being funny, and that... When he... I remember he was telling me this, innit? And I was like, that just shows a testament of the person. Mm. Because he moved from all what's going on to him thinking, right, that man are paying me. For nothing. So it, it and I'm like, well, it's not your. The worst thing. Like that, I'm yeah. like, fam, you didn't plan to get injured. Yeah. I said this to I was like, big man, you didn't plan yeah, to get yeah, injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he moved yeah. straight from him. Like, for, this is what that's I keep mad. saying, yo, D, fam, you are that guy. Because my mind wouldn't have gone to that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My, <laughs> I yeah, my no, mind no, wouldn't have been. And I gave me my pain. I gave him my bread. It's like, yo, cuz. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we know that, like. We know that, yeah. Football, there's no loyalty in football. Yeah, we know this, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Especially as players. And this is not me being bitter. I'm not being bitter. I don't think it's there's nice. been one club. It's just, it seems like they hold players to a different standard to, yeah. um, to football clubs. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. tell me one football club, tell me your last club, have they phoned you up to find out if you're blessed before no, you was no. at? They never do that. But no. then they put an onus on football players yeah, yeah, yeah. that they should go and bother and beyond, which yeah, for me, yeah. it baffles me because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's an organisation, that's a machine, that's a cog that will continue to be we're going on. Yeah, 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 whereas yeah. when that's... they're done with us, we're done. We're done. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're hired help. Yeah. Then we'll go and hire mm -hmm. somebody else. But that just shows mm -hmm. the integrity. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, D was like, yeah, man, look, what are they going to think? They're going to be paying me for six months. And I'm not doing nothing. And I can't, it's like, what? It has, big has man. your mind there, yeah. yeah. Uh, concentrate on yourself, big man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, would yeah. Say, bro, and no, like, I like the integrity yeah. there, but I can't lie. Yeah. You must pick up your bread. Yeah, fam, listen. Yeah. You know what I know now? I was worrying about all the wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> but he's right, because he would have these, like, this, like, this is how you know, this was it, like, me and B, like, we're very open, we're very honest, yeah. like, and he would tell me these things, he's like, this, Darius, don't worry, like, what are you talking mm, about? Like, yeah, don't worry, like, you're getting paid, you're secure, don't worry about that. So, I'm there now and I'm like, I'm just counting on the days really. I'm there with the boys, eh, hey, you're right. Like, and you know what it's like, we've all been injured in this yeah. room at a point in time where it's like, we're good for the period of time where everyone's in the building and that. And then when the man got to change, you're like, oh. Yeah, you're yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And you're there on the bike and mm -hmm. you're pedaling mm -hmm. and you're stretching yeah, and you're whatever. Yeah, and then man are out that, there that like, bike, yeah. it, bro. Especially when you're injured, yeah. yeah. It's oh, a man. Man. to do it for an hour, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> and and like, and all you know, what is this? Bike, like, yeah. see, yeah. You see the bike, yeah? I'm oh, scared of a bike. And it's yeah, silent. It's just you on the bike, And you're just here to do it for an hour, yeah? People don't see, you know what, in football, people do not see that side. And you know what's worse is, all the jokes happen outside. So when the man are coming in talking, yeah. About this joke, you're like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're not really involved like that. No, you're not involved. And the days are longer as well the when you're into the long. Being first, you're last. Being like, bro, it's, you just feel like so it's just mean. like it's just a thankless task. Mm. So it got to like about March now, and I remember we had a night game, and I was watching the game, and I think we lost it one 0 But I was in the stand, and I was like, oh, that oh, we need to do this, and if it was me, I'd do this. Mm -hmm, and at mm -hmm. that moment in time, I realized to myself, I was like. Now I'm not ready to retire, you know? Like, I'm actually... At, that, at that, game. that game. That moment in time, I was like, I'm not, oh, you must be... Darius, Mad, are yeah. you dumb? Like, you think you're going to just, just, like, fall <laughs> out of the game? Yeah, like, yeah. like, with an honourable mention? Nah, that, like, it's go time. Mm. So, 
From in, that moment, how severe was the pain at that time? How bad was the? Bro, hit? I couldn't, I couldn't run. I couldn't jog. Like I would feel it like straight away, and I'd just come back inside. Like I was, I was done. I was. He was done. Let me tell you something. Like, y'all man to see me and be like, big man can't run. He was way worse than me. Yeah. Like, what? What? He would come in, <laughs> like he would go out, like literally, but it would take like six minutes because mm. you go out do the run and be that, and then you just see him walk in. It's like nah, man. And like it was, you could yeah. see, yeah. like you could see it was breaking, it was broken, breaking, oh, and down, man. You could see because you know that ones where you feel you're, you're gaining, and then like nope, and you feel it, get, and then no, and it's just like B said, like just every time mm -hmm. you go out there and you just get disappointment. It's just like why do I even bother? Why do I even bother? Like I'm giving so much, why do I even bother? Yeah. But from that moment on, I was like, nah, I don't care, whatever it takes. Mm. So I hadn't had a conversation with the guy for a long time because obviously the the, the, the onus was on securing like our league status and it would just come up wanting to secure our league status. I think it's like the first time that Wickham ever done it, like gone up to League One and secured their status. Yeah, and I could be losing. wrong. Been, yeah. That was a, that was the season when he was losing. Yeah, it was like that period of time where it's like yeah, we're losing. a loss away from like yeah, really yeah, being was, in it. Yeah, it was peak. So I think the second to last week of the season like we'd secured like our league status. So I went into the gaffer and said, look like I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better. Can I come back and just do pre-season? Just do pre-season. Like, that's all I ask. And he was Train. like, Darius, like, and I'll be honest, like, I broke down in tears in there. Cause, I, I, cause before even saying that, I said, listen, like, I'm sorry, man. Like, on, like. You apologize. I apologize. Cause I'm like, horror, this, like, crazy. I know, you know, this isn't what I meant for this. Like I had so many ideas. I really wanted to, to add to the group. And he said, and again, this is why I have so much respect for him. He said, Darius, listen, you have contributed more than you'll ever know. I'll, I'll oh. speak on it in terms of, my time when I was at Leighton Orient and we was in a conference. Um, I was, it was similar to you where... Um, was you at Leighton Orient? There <laughs> 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 we go! <laughs> um, yeah, it was similar to um, Darius' situation in terms of being the marquee signing and I've come from Tranmere Rovers. I didn't quite do it at Tranmere and I got a call from Orient man manager at the time, Justin Edelbach. Um, rest his soul. Um, he gave me a call and said, "Listen, we want to sign you. <coughs> We've been in this. Late in Orient should be in. Shouldn't be in the conference prem. Mm. We're gonna get promoted and whatnot. And first three games, I started and I didn't score. And obviously, late in Orient, we've got huge fan base, whatnot. We drew the first three games and we want to go and get promoted. So." Fans are talking like, what type of signing is this? Who we got? Blah, blah, blah. And at that point, me being, I was 24 at the time, I could say to myself, okay, you know what? Um, my head's gone, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But Justin Edinburgh took me to, into, into the office and he's gone, we had Braintree away. And he's gone, I'm going to start um, McCauley Bond, who's in the championship right now. Josh Corome is in the championship right now. I'm going to start them two. Um, it's not because you're not playing well, but I don't want you to put too much pressure on yourself. So that happened and that game against Braintree, them two scored. Of course. That's how it happens. That's how it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. That's a given. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would have I told you that before you yeah. 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 They scored. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them scored. We won like 4-0, whatever it is. And I said to myself, oh, nah. If man's playing against, no disrespect, if man's playing against Braintree, Brain I would have scored, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the game we're going to score. Whatever, that's the game they take you out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was always like that. It's like that. Yeah. So then, after that game, Justin Edwards brought me to another meeting. He's going, James, don't worry. Just because they're scored, I'm going to need you. Mm. I'm going to need you. You're, gonna, you're important to the team. And that was because I was a new signing. I hadn't scored a goal yet. But how I was around the boys, I was still the same. I'm a bubbly character. I'm jokey, laughy. I'm wishing everyone the best. And as soon as Justin Edinburgh saw that, he said, nah, this is someone that I have to keep. Yeah. Now, the season went on and them boys, I, I just told you they're in the championship mm. for a reason. Them boys went to school double digits. And, but obviously they were tiring out. We had loads of games coming on. Then we had, we had the opportunity to sign Jay Simpson. Used to be at Orient, played yeah, in the Prem. And we had a game against Dagenham, and we signed Jay Simpson the day before the game. So I've gone, fam, okay, that's, the, the strikers are tired. It's my turn to play, and now yeah. you sign Jay Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm thinking, fam, what's, what's going yeah. on? Justin Ember again, brought me to the office. <laughs> James, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. We've had to make the signing. He's a big name. We want to get promoted. You're not going nowhere. I, I've now gone, OK, yeah, yeah, you see the happy boy, the nice thing I'm mm -hmm. going to do. I can't do it no more. Yeah. I said, Gaff, I can't do it. He goes, James, you can fuck me off. You can call me a cunt. You can say everything you want to say to me in my face. You're not going nowhere. Why? Because you're part of this team. What you've done in the last 33 games is more than a lot of what people's done on the pitch. And that's why I can't let you go. At that moment, I'm irate. I'm still like yeah. thinking, no, nah, no. Nah. But when he said that comment, you could just see me just go like this. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. And when I left that meeting, whenever the boys scored, whenever we won a game, I felt like, yeah, I got three points. Yeah, yeah. Just from the gaffer saying to me, bro, just because you're not on the pitch, it doesn't mean that you haven't contributed to the team and mm. it goes on what you were saying. And that season, we got promoted, mm. we got to Wembley, everything. And like you said, you don't have to be on the pitch to show your yeah, character to, yeah. to drive the team. And if I didn't do that, if I had just been quiet and not held up the boys, he would have sent me out to loan to Timbuktu. Yeah. That, that was like two. me, but I wasn't playing. I remember Femme at that game. Mm. Fem used to talk to me when we was driving in. Femme used to say, man, I don't know how you do it, you know. Mm. That's just me as a person. You can't let, like you said, as soon as you act like you don't give a fuck, that's when they say, mm. yeah, right, let's leave him out. He's not going to play. But I just, I, I kept going because that's me. That's, that's me as a character before mm. games, after mm. games, in training. Mm. I just, I'm a bubbly yeah, you guy. Like, you, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So that's how it is. See, I'm, I, I'm, I'm with all of you. I'm, I think I'm older than everybody here. Mm. Take it. Mm. You look older than me. <laughs> 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 me? How come you pointed at me? You know? <laughs> Bro, I thought you were going to point that. Yeah, somewhere. Do <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, you know what? It's funny because I feel what I've learned in the game, I've always said this, I can't begrudge not one player in mm. my team. Mm. But my man don't pick the team. Mm. But I can't be... I, I always look at it like this. I will beef the gaffer. 100%. Mm -hmm. But if I'm watching the game, I've, don't get it twisted. I don't want the striker to go score a hat trick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah. I want us to win. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So I'm like, like yeah, all right, go score your goal, cuz. Oh, yeah, yeah, Darius, yeah. you score for me. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want us to lose, and I don't need to step on nobody to get to where I want to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't beef you. So if I'm part of the team, like even now at 38, what I got to do to get to games. And if I don't get enough minutes, it takes me 20 minutes to get going anyway. Mm -hmm. So when he puts me on for the last 15 minutes, I'm like, I make it. <laughs> By the time I'm warm, the game done. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I am now yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. at the same time is, I can't beef, man. So when yeah. you're saying that, well, yeah, yeah, you're celebrating with the man then, yeah, man. But no, best believe yeah. I pull the gaffer and I yeah, let the gaffer, gaffer know. know. Yeah. Gaffer, let me tell you something. I feel disrespected by you. Mm. Because, and that's the thing, I'm like, but then you got to also understand that it is a balance because mm. I can't begrudge a man who's selfish mm -hmm. because the game is ultimately at the end of the season. So your story was wicked because you as a person, you're like, nah, man, I'm there for the boys. Mm -hmm. I'm there. I play my part. Yeah, yeah. And you played your role. Mm -hmm. Don't get the game twisted. You played your role mm -hmm. in getting promoted. But then you got to look at the, the big picture is, OK, I played my role at the time. time. Now it's the end of the season and you're not going to give me another contract. Mm -hmm. I didn't play no minutes. So now, I now, because you're going to move on. Mm. You're promoted, you're going to move mm -hmm. on. And I stand as an individual entity. Mm. So there has to be an element of selfishness because I've got to pay for my kids, my yeah, mortgage and that. Right. So, also, I, so I get it and it's a balance. And that's how I keep saying it is the hardest thing, thing. Yeah. to be balanced. It's yeah. so hard because mm. I can totally understand a selfish striker. Like, mm. uh, my strike partner, we got Scotty K. Why are we selfish? <laughs> <laughs> Period. On the pitch. On yeah. the pitch. Oh, mm. Sorry, not so. Like, on the pitch, it's, it's all about his goals. And, but I can't begrudge that. But if I say, I'm like, Mav, you want to get your stats up? Yeah. Because mm. ultimately, ultimately, you got three kids, you got a mortgage. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I get that. Because you can turn around and sit on the bench for the whole season, train hard. So if, you, if you're not playing and I'm playing and the harder you train, the better I'm training. Mm. So I'm ready for games. And yeah. you do that the whole season, 
yes, you're playing your part. By the end of the season, you're not left high and dry, but you ain't got nothing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's a balance. It is literally, and it's, yeah. I keep saying it's that, people, people don't understand. Oh, yeah. It's the hardest thing. thing and when managers yeah. turn around to you and say, I'm not going to let you go mm. because you're great around the team. Like, yeah. yeah, I get that. But, but Gaff, how am I gonna, I be playing. what's going to happen at the yeah, end yeah, of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. I'm helping you because you know it's going right mm -hmm. and I, we tick all the boxes. Mm -hmm. But, and this is what, I, only footballers in-house will understand what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Because I remember telling to my mum one time, mum was like, Bayo, did you play? No, nah, man. Mm -hmm. Ma, did you get paid? Yeah. yeah. Why are you angry? So they look at yeah. it like, well, they paid you for not doing that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But only footballers will understand. Yeah, you you, you got to you you know your face it's in that. It's the balance mm. that you want to play because ultimately, the same way he's got a bigger integrity about, I want to I, I want to mm. earn my money. So mm. Monday to Friday is where we put in the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday is That's where we right. show the work show we the put work. in. Yeah, yeah. So we want it. At the end of the day, you're thinking, wow, Monday to Friday, I went hard. Mm. I trained and mm. then mm. I got up with the boys for game and yeah, then, yeah, oh, yeah. all that build up energy, I want, you want me to run afterwards. Mm. Mm. And the more you do that, so only players will understand, understand yeah, it's what crucial. I'm trying to get at. Mm. And the balance mm. is hard. And that being hard. mentally, it just is. mentally is as important as mm. the physical aspect of this game that is up and down. It's a hard balance, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, final topic here. Yeah. Um, business. Now, obviously, um, in your book, yeah, you mentioned you mentioned that you bought um, a couple of properties in Bristol, or whatever. Yeah. From a young age, who, 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 like, how did you manage to figure that out? Because I feel like, especially <coughs> in your time, I, I feel like you were ahead of your time in that. Because I feel like a lot of footballers, especially at the level we play at. Yep. They don't they do not do that. I'm not going to lie, I didn't do it. Do you know what I mean? I didn't do it. Um, so, yeah, like, who put you on that game from such a young age? Do you know what? I, D will know, yeah. Look, mm. I've, I've always been so comfortable in my lane. I've mm. never been... Look, mm. I see every man coming with Jordans. I'm in flip-flops. I've, <laughs> I've been like that just yeah. because... But uh, wait, <laughs> hold on. You know, no one's wearing Jordans. Only, only these wearing oh, Jordans. Sorry, well, then, everyone's yeah, wearing Jordans. Yeah, so, yeah, these... Wait, yeah, hold on. <laughs> These are the cheapest pair of trainers so, at the table so, right so, now, fam. I, I actually try to put everybody Jordans. Yeah. Man's wearing Balenciaga's. I know that's expensive. <laughs> that's big, so that's yeah. expensive. Yeah. Balenciaga. And listen, y'all men are living in a big world. Now listen, the funny thing is, I've never been. I've never been one to, I've never been into designers. My mm. vice is, don't get the game twisted, I actually like cars. Mm. So I probably spent my money on cars and probably holidays. Okay, cool. That was where my mm. vice America. Is. America. Mm. Yeah. Like, woo. Oh. <laughs> 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 he said, he said, ah, woo. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Just pray for me. <laughs> Just pray for me. <laughs> so, um, so my, do you know what? I think the biggest advice I got, and it stuck with me from young, mm. in, I remember Kevin Austin, rest his soul, like, God rest mm. his soul, like, um, he was my first mentor, and I remember mm. when I signed for Swansea, like, we used to drive in, like, from Bristol, we both lived in Bristol, um, and I remember he said to me, like, I went into the car park, and they were on P, I'd just signed from mm. Torquay, so I wasn't mm. on, so I'd come into Swansea, their man was on money, money, mm. And like, I remember he said to me, he was just generally chatting to her, and I was like, I want to be like this guy mm. when I'm older, like mm. this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had the respect, he had, he, everything was patterned with him. He had mm. the respect, he had the size, he wasn't feared. It was just, I was like, this is, what is the brother I want to be yeah, like yeah, yeah, when yeah, I get yeah. off age, innit? And he went to me, B, he was like, you know what, B? You know, people talk about success, it's all relevant to the individual. But he's like, for me, the definition of success is not the car you drive while you're earning, it's the car you drive when you finish to know how you've done. And I remember at the time, big 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 Cause my way you after. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you, and I didn't realize how much of a bar that was at that time. Man was just like, oh yeah, yeah say no, yeah, oh, say no, yeah, cool, cool, say none. Mm -hmm. Then as as the as the years went on, man was like, 
How many, how often do we live paycheck to paycheck? Mm. Yeah. I don't care. There was a period yeah. where fam, I was paycheck to paycheck. So, you know, you're waiting for the next paycheck mm. to come in. So, so then you're thinking, well, hold on, eats this. If football stopped today. Mm. In the climate that we're in anyway. And, mm. but, uh, it's peak. Mm. It's a wrap. Mm. So I was like, nah, so as I've gotten older, I was like, nah, I'll be exactly that. But when we're earning, if you're earning and you can drive the top of the range range when you're earning, cool, because mm -hmm. you're earning. It's easy to do that. That's yeah. easy. Yeah. As soon as that contract stops Stop. and you have to give that car by, back, you haven't done it right. Mm -hmm. Literally. Cool. So as I've gotten older, like, like I said, I weren't really into, thank God, I weren't really into the designers from a young pup. But the biggest thing for me, mm. It's like anything, you, I'm, I'm lucky, I've, I've got mumsy pups still together, brothers, best friends. So, mum went to me early doors and I, you, I think sometimes you have to go through it to realise the other side. Mm. So when I left Swansea, I broke my leg and couldn't get a club for seven months. And when I'm talking about paycheck to paycheck, after four months, I'd gone through my savings. Mm. So then the next three months, I've had to go through credit cards, loans. Then I got a contract seven months afterwards, yeah. which is only now paying off the current bills. Bill, so I've yeah. still got the big debt. Yeah, the debt. So I then gone through the point of, nah, man, I now I've got to pay this off and get back to it. So for myself, going through not having P mm -hmm. shifted my mind again. That's where you had to... The, yeah, and yeah. then also, I remember... That's so important. You need to, yeah, also, sorry to cut no, you. No, it's cool. You need to also bear in mind as well, because... Listen, man, I feel like people are ashamed to speak on these things. I've, what he's been through, I've been through as well. And what even makes it mad is the fact that you finally get that contract, yeah? And it's not even nowhere near where you was picking up yeah. before. Mm. So it's like, rah, I've got this car, I've got this house I'm paying for, I've got this I'm paying for. And, and, and my old wage, like what I was picking up maybe a year ago, that was that could um, afford it, innit? Mm. I could afford it. but. Now, I'm picking up half of what I was picking up a year ago mm -hmm. and I've still got the same outgoings. Bro, it's not easy. And I feel like so many footballers go through it, you know what I mean? But they go through it on their own. Mm. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? And that's what people don't understand. Yeah. Like, when you're in a normal nine to five, say you might go from mm. 30 grand a year to mm. 35 grand or like you stay around that. Yeah. Footballer, mm. like you said, when I got in, like the contract I signed, the first contract I signed at Wickham, compared to the second one I signed when I come back from my injury, was less than half. Mm. Mm. So I signed on whatever, and then a year later, I'm on less than half That's crazy. of what I was on mm. a year ago. So mm. it's like, real life stuff real has life to stuff change. change. Yeah, like, change real life stuff has to change. So it's like, that's something that people outside of football don't realise. Like, for all the, oh yeah, it's great, you're on X amount of money. Yeah, 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 it's cool. But that money could be next to nothing. Mm. The next year, like, it happens that quick with football. So, mm. there really is, what people don't understand is there's no stability mm. in football. Yeah. Yeah. And unless, unless you're doing it week in, week out, that's the trade-off. You have to be doing it week in, week, week, out, week out to do that. So because someone will just turn around and say, right, you're not doing it anymore. Yeah. Like, got, you're gone. Yeah. Or we're bringing someone who's going to do it. It's and true. now your money's going to go from here to it's here. True. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. That's, Biggest thing, as I'll say, of course, our minds have shifted. We're older. Mm. So there's a lot of younger pups exactly where you feel like you can play forever. Mm. So you always be like, oh, but either it's one or two. Either I'm going to stay on this money forever, <laughs> so I'm a, or I'm going to get to that money. Yeah. So it is what it is. Yeah. I do think that there needs to be stuff implemented that is an education to there is. look, there you know what? The younger players. Look, bruh, nobody's saying about not going to buy Balenci's or mm. the people. No. Listen, you earn your money, you earn yeah. your money, but realise regardless of what, 15 years, 10 years, our career is short. Mm. So you have to, regardless of what, you have to have a contingency plan. So, just, and I'll just say, you're getting a hundred pound a month, I'm just fine out. You're getting a hundred pound a month, but you have to put away 40 pounds. Mm. Literally, you mm. just have to, have to put away 40 pounds because mm. it can shift like that. Mm. And I just feel that with football, and footballers, you'll know, we're very much follow. Mm. So I'd be like, oh, yeah. oh, this is a star, oh, man, yeah, man, man, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. we're going out here, so mm. but let me live this oh. lifestyle, oh, let me. Yeah. That's the biggest thing with footballers. Football, and I yeah. keep saying, it's not just football that 
it's a thing where you're trying to impress. It's life. Mm. So as you get older, like I keep saying, when you're comfortable in your lane, mm. you no longer try to impress. You do your best. And yeah. your best, so you turn around, you're like, yo, we're going to Libs today, yeah? <laughs> we're going to get a table, four bags. When you're comfortable, you're like, big man ting, I ain't doing that table today. Yeah, yeah. So, Bob, I'm good. I'm it's good. True, it's Whereas, true. you know, when you're younger, it's a bit more, oh, raw, man. I don't want man to feel like, oh, I'm this. Yeah. So, let me you go and. Be, you want to like yeah. before you yeah. want to So, you want to impress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, exactly where you're saying. And plus, yeah, look, we're all human. We've all yeah. had money problems. We've all had. Because, yeah. look, look, the best story, I remember I wanted to buy an X5. I wanted to buy an X5. Mm. Mum was like, nah. Mum was like, listen, don't buy an X5. I think I owed her a thousand pounds. So she's like, don't buy an X5, rah, 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 rah. I was like, nah, nah, man, it's the car I want, man. It's mm. all-purpose car, mm. it's the car I want, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. Mm. So mum's like, look, in the end, look, it seems like it's something you want to do. You owe me a thousand pounds, and before you ever do anything, you've got to pay me back my thousand pounds. <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool, say nothing. Yeah. Went to get, gave her back her thousand pounds, went to go get the car. This is how silly I was at a young age, but had to go through it. Mm. So didn't even care what it was. I remember, get me an X5. The, the one they get me was a 4.4 NG. I was playing at Torquay. So I was driving back to London. So you already know how much I had to yeah. put back in the tank yeah. to get back to London. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So I got it. It worked out at £650 a month for this X5 that I was buying. At this time, I didn't really know the concept of, I, was yeah, like, I wanted a car, yeah, yeah, so I wanted to get a car. Yeah, didn't have a house, didn't have nothing. And I remember I was sat down with the Barclays woman and she was going through it. So she just sat down. She's like, oh, we want you to be a premier manager. Um, part of the Premier team, come to it. So she was going through the outgoing. She's like, oh, I've seen you've got a property. I was like, what? She was like, but you've got an outgoing to 650. I was like, that was my car. She said, my mortgage is not even 650. And I remember, you know, when you like in yourself, you're, you laugh it off, but that's yeah. when you realize, yeah. but you're a donor. So she was like, that's oh, Ron, nice. I was thinking, yeah, yeah, you know, I just, <laughs> I just wanted a car. And it's like, it's like, sometimes I keep saying it and I'll say it to my kids. But you know a punch is going to hurt, but mm. sometimes you don't know how much it's going to yeah. hurt until you get punched. Mm. Sometimes you have to get punched in the face yeah, to know yeah, to that, know that it's going to hurt. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I had to do. I had yeah. to go through the dumbness no. of getting the stupid car, wasting stupid, stupid monies money. on it, yeah. to then be like, nah, never again. Mm. So yeah. after that, it was like, like you said, it was yeah. like, you know what? Oh, yeah. I need to get a house. Like, yeah. I, that, that, that's what I got to do. No, but I don't own sick. nothing. I'm driving whatever, how much it was, a 50 grand car mm. with no house. No house. Yeah. The hell no, was that? So that's sense. where you start shifting your mindset mm. into sense like, you know what? It's about what you end with yeah, rather than actually what you've, what you've got at the time. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah no, I can't lie to you, man. It's, it's, it's good that we're here and we came out the other side, you know what I mean? Because. Yeah. A lot of players that didn't come out the other side and were here to tell the tales to give this game onto generation, yeah, generation that, that comes yeah. after us. You got mm -hmm. what I'm saying, man. So, boy, but yeah, man. Let me that, ask you a quick question. I know we, we want to wrap up <laughs> yeah, real quick. I want to ask you a quick question. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. I just did an interview now, and of course, in mm -hmm. the, the media now, they talk a lot about the race, about the colour thing, about racism, mm -hmm. Neil, and that. Do you did you ever feel in your career that your skin colour held you back? Yes. 100%. Yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. 100%. 100%. See, I guess the worst thing we should have started with that because that seemed like a conversation that we could have kicked off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Might have to use it for the next one. <laughs> yeah, that, we should have started with that because that was a conversation yeah. I would want to know outside as no, football we'll, we'll, players. We'll, we'll, listen, you know we'll be saying? back here in it. I'll say less. Do you know what I mean? All the talk is here to stay, man. So, yeah, man. But you, man, absolute pleasure, man. Come on, man. Seriously, man. Always come on, man. Big up yourselves, man. Love and love.